Hey friends, Ingrid here from Open Journey. I would like to share with you a project within the beautiful three kit, the beauty of small things. We talk about um, weaving, there are analogies made to weaving, quite a few beautiful Bible verses. And I thought it would be so cool to actually implement this somehow in a, in a project, right? The weaving, but I didn't want to I didn't want it to get too complicated. So I remembered when we were kids in school, we were doing all these paper weaving projects and I thought it would be so cool to make something similar. So you'll find in your kit, you're gonna find these two, these two cards and they go together. Now the idea is that like uh, weaving has two main components is the warp which is the stationary part is like the the vertical uh, threads that are stationary and then the weft uh, the weft are the are parts of the thread that go under and over the the warp the stationary part and consider this this card as the warp the stationary part and this one is going to be cut all the way the strips and we're going to take these strips and weave them into this piece. And in the end, they're going to make a beautiful piece. You kind of can guess what it is. And in the end, we're going to see the entire image. And also, I have Bible verse on both of them. But the part of this verse, the words on the front, will get covered by this image. So I really love this. For you formed my innermost being. You need me together in my mother's womb. I praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works. This is from Psalm 139. And this is just for you to read while you do the project, right? And this part has, for we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. And this one is from Ephesians 2.10. So I'm going to show you it's very it's very easy. I know, I think it looks complicated because of all the little squares, you know, and it's like, whoa, what do we have to do here? And also on the back, it does not make sense if you look at it just like that, but when they're going to be interwoven, this verse will be visible. So I'm going to show you how we're going to how we're going to do this. I'm just going to get my cutting mat. And if you just follow the simple instructions, one line instructions on the on the cards, this one says cut vertical slits at marks, leaving the white margin at the top and bottom uncut because this is going to be the stationary part. And this one, cut the horizontal strips at marks, weave them into the vertical cut strips. So this one is going to, and also I number them so you know where they go. So first we're going to do this one. So you're going to stop, and also after you're done, you can cut the, the instructions and the numbers off. So if you notice, I'm wearing my uh, Tyvek bracelets. They're pretty worn out. I've been wearing them for quite a while now. So the inspiration for these bracelets came... Seeing my daughter, if we go to any kind of events or water parks or so on, to remember the good times, she leaves these uh, bracelets on until they are just shredded, until they are just threads. And I thought, man, that is so cool. Why would, couldn't we do this with Bible verses, right? And um, to wear them for a few days to remind you. And I cannot stand wearing any kind of jewelry. Um, not even rings, bracelets, earrings, I cannot do it. And I thought, well, this is going to be quite uncomfortable to wear because uh, it just bugs me. And you know what I noticed while I was wearing it? Every time I feel annoyed by it, I look at it and then I see the verse. And it's uh, such a cool reminder. You are worth more than many sparrows. So... I guess it fulfills its purpose, even if uh, wearing it annoys me, but that annoyance makes me look at it and remember the verse. So I thought many people don't have problems wearing things, but bracelets and such. 
So as you see, I'm cutting these, leaving up to the uh, white margin. Now I have a very unprecise ruler here, it's really thick. And I might cut it not quite right. Most of them are okay. Just make sure you don't cut all the way to the ends. So this is what we're gonna have here. So this is the warp, <laughs> as it is called. And uh, these ones are still connected at the top and bottom. And now we're gonna weave these pieces in this one. So these ones I will cut all the way And I'm going to cut the white in between the strips as well. So you cut right to the image. And also I'm going to get to show you the new washi tapes. They just arrived. I'm gonna put them in my shop and also I have a, a discount code for you for free shipping I'm gonna send it in the newsletter so if you already ordered add-ons and especially if you're subscribed to the monthly kit if you want to order add-ons or anything else in the shop that should it can ship out with your main kit and then you don't have to pay shipping again or even if like we did in the past I refund it but this is much easier to just have the free shipping um, discount code to you so I don't waste my time either having to issue all these refunds it just makes it easier for everybody so I will be sending the newsletter out shortly with all the new all the new information and updates. I didn't do it from, from the beginning because there was a lot to figure out with the transition between shops and um, I just got to it now so that's all good. So I'm matching one with one and what we have to do is uh, we're just gonna be covering the words right so this one goes under the image, over the words, under the image, and you can leave it hidden underneath, or, and you're just gonna, and also you can, after it's all situated, you can glue the side so it doesn't move on you anymore. But after we weave quite a few pieces in, it's gonna stay in place anyway, because of the tension, because now we're gonna go in an opposite direction so each time we're going to make sure to cover the words. And just uh, line up the image. So number three goes under, over the word, and under the image. And there we go. Number four So yeah, it's pretty <laughs> it's pretty easy. And it just looks so cool, this woven um, image. I just love I just love weaving and um, and it brings. Anytime there's presence of weaving and fabric brings such warmth to even to a room. But also the same happens in journaling, I think. That's why there are a few uh, weaving images with this kit. So we, we get beautiful, the beauty of God and his works. Number six. 
So as you see, it's, it's pretty easy. So this last one, it's a little bit tighter. But as you see, this tension of opposite uh, weaving keeps the whole thing in place. And ta-da! Isn't this cool? And now, so of course we can cut these off. And this would fit so beautifully in the margin of your Bible or, or um, journal. Now if we turn this around, we're going to get another beautiful verse. And now we can read because now it makes sense. By the grace God has given me, I lay the foundation as an expert builder. And someone else is building on it, but each one must be careful how he builds, for no one can lay a foundation other than the one already laid, which is Jesus Christ. This is from Corinthians 3, 10, 11. So isn't this beautiful? I always think of the warp part, the stationary part, as the main foundation, and then we weave within it, right? And we form, and we weave our lives, but the foundation of our lives has to be Jesus. So I thought this would be such a cool practical project that kind of reflects this truth. So here it is. And even the back, maybe the way you affix it, like you hinge it, so you can flip it over and see this woven verse, which is so cool. So this is it. I just wanted to show, give you a, a quick demo of, of how this is put together so you don't have to worry about it. And... Um, now I will show you the, the new washies. I'm so excited because they turned out gorgeous. They're so beautiful. So there are good, I, ha I have three new wide washies and two regular size. Let me put them to the side. So this is a washi for um, you can use it any time, but in my mind, it's for Advent. It uses elements, so this is it. It uses elements from, and it has the beautiful Descending Holy Spirit on it, so it, it just turned out so beautiful. It has elements from the past Advent kit in Domino, in, in the Lord. So that's awesome. I absolutely love it. Now, these are elements, and I just love this uh, carved words. I actually carved them in, uh, in a lino cut uh, block. And these are words from last year's kit, Born in My Heart. And they just look, it almost it has a 3D effect. They look like they just come out of the page. So, let's go find him, make room, prepare John, John 1 now born born in my heart kingdom and then it repeats again so this is really cool i really like how this turned out next one is just little little images with um almost like postal stamps from various various kits so i kind of pick my favorite images this is from um with you from the Lent kit, uh, this is the Holy Spirit image from the fire starter. This is uh, the walking foot on the path, and that's from Rote Maus. The word is alive. This is from uh, Living Water and the uh, Desert Journey. This is Ece Homo, the figure of Jesus from Do You Love Me. This image is also from Firestarer, the hands, pierced hands of our Lord, and that's the Holy Spirit from, also from um, the Road to Emmaus. So this is, so you get many, many images with uh, this one. So I really like that. So this is the one everybody requested for, to take the packing tape that I use to pack the packages. And of course, I took my logo off of it because it's I had the Open Journey logo, and now all it says is "Beautiful and Journey with God." So this is another, this is another white one, and it just turned out amazing. Let's I want to have one more, 
and this is uh, similar to the crosses, but these are actually sewn uh, uh, crosses, like stitch work that I did, and then I scanned it and I made it, and also I made it into a um, into a design for washi tape. So these are sewn elements, and it's it's very beautiful and uh, has this cool graphic black and white um, feel to it. And here I have from Psalm 73. Yet I am always with you. You hold you hold me by the right hand. You guide me with your counsel, and afterwards you will take me into glory. Psalm 73. And this is such a beautiful verse. So, yeah, these are all the new uh, washies that will be available uh, in my shop shortly. Plus, I, I um, restocked some of the ones that sold out already, like the Faith Words and the Mixed Media Wide uh, Tape. I don't have it handy here. Uh, but that was sold out, I noticed today, so I, I uh, refilled that one too restock it so this is it i hope you i hope you enjoyed this video make sure if you're not subscribed you can i have a few kits available for one-time purchase and also i have another project coming up i'm going to show you for the specimen uh, slides that's that's the one of the add-ons for the beautiful three kit thank you so much i hope you enjoyed this and god bless